up guys ipod one reviewer here with an unboxing for you all this is the nvidia shield pro this is the 500 gigabyte model they also have a 16 gigabyte model available as well this is actually an android tv and it also you can watch movies and things in 4k ultra hd but of course we know a lot of things do not support ultra hd at this time for buying this particular version, <clears throat> you get free items. So basically, it's a digital download add-on. So if you get this particular model, you get $30 in the Play gift card, plus 90 days of unlimited play music, which that is a $29.97 value, plus Borderlands, the pre-sequel Google Play game code, which that's a $29.99 value. So those are free items that you get just for buying this particular model. And of course, um, as I stated, you can um, <clears throat> you can also stream. So you say, for instance, you have a computer that has a specific in, um, NVIDIA processor or whatnot. You know, you have to have a fairly, I guess, newer computer. I want to see if I can um, link up the... Alienware Alpha to this so that way I could stream directly from the Alpha to the Shield either to the Shield or stream it from Twitch on the Shield so we're gonna see if that works as I stated before it has a 500 gigabyte um, storage it has the Nvidia Tegra X1 processor so along with the Maxwell 256 core GPU with 3 gigabytes of RAM it provides excellent graphics performance for gaming and more, which is cool. So basically, you can play um, computer games off of here. This is rather heavy, my, you know, by the way, as well. Thanks for hanging in there. It's been two minutes. I'm going to get to the unboxing very soon. Just want to get through this right quick. So, of course, you have Android TV with the Google Play Store. And, like I said, 4K Ultra HD Playback Dolby, 7.1 surround sound, 7.1 and 5.1 surround pass-through. It also has a 3.5mm headset jack on the controller. That way you can plug in your headphones and you can listen to whatever you're watching from the Shield in private, you know, in private and not disturb your partner. Uh, Built-in dual band 2.4 gigahertz and 5 5 gigahertz 802.11 AC Wi-Fi so it includes a, a gigabit Ethernet which we'll get to that and all the all the um, you know ports and stuff so usually when I do these unboxings I always uh, just you know rip everything off uh, before I even start but considering this is fairly easy you know they actually have little things you just that's it no knife, no anything. So why not just do it live for you all? So as you see, here is the front of the box. And it's really cool. This is like a raised um, monogram type picture. Uh, if you get the 16 gigabyte version of this, the box is white. So with this one, the box is black. And uh, let's take a look on the side here see if we can get this to focus so here we get the shield the controller the HDMI cable the 500 gigabyte storage model the Tegra X1 processor 256 core Nvidia processor 64 bit CPU 3 gigabytes of RAM Android TV Google Cast ready HDMI 2.0 4k ultra HD with 10 bit color micro SD card slot for additional storage that I love um, 802.11 dual band Wi-Fi, gigabit Ethernet, two USB 3.0 mic and a micro USB 2.0, Dolby 7.1 and 5.1 surround sound pass through. And then here is the top, and then here is this side. These are basically accessories you can buy if you choose. This is 50 bucks. This is like I want to say. Oh, I forgot how much the stand is, but I know I, I'm sure it's more than 20, 25 dollars. But um, if it's fifty dollars for the for the remote, I can only imagine how much the stand is. Um, I'm gonna set it down anyway, so it doesn't really matter. Here's the bottom, and here's the back. <clears throat> this, of course, is monogram too. It, it has that nice, you know, like 3D type feel to it. So here, 
<clears throat> I'm sorry. Uh, Android TV. So enjoy a world of content and apps on Google Play. Stream from your phone or tablet with Google Cast, which is cool. Voice search. Quickly find what you what you want with the Google Voice search. Okay. 4K movies and TV and games. Play a new class of Android games only on Shield. Stream amazing games from the NVIDIA grid. So let's get with the unboxing. Finally, five minutes. <laughs> if you guys are still here, you guys are wonderful. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much. So, <clears throat> first thing we are greeted with is the Shield itself. And, um, it is, well, this is not that heavy. It has some weight to it. It has some heft to it, so it does not feel cheap. Now, you see it has matte and gloss finishes on it. This right here is your, um, power button. It is, in fact, a, it's just the, the little touch button. It's not, um, <clears throat> it's not an actual button. So, um, <clears throat> it's like what you, what you have on your Xbox One or PlayStation 4. It's the, a capacitive button. It's not an actual button button. So, there's nothing here on this side. Nothing here on this side. The design of it is really cool because it looks different. Like, however you, like, if you were to display it. I'm sure this is a fan down here. This has that soft touch feel that you have on a lot of phones nowadays. So, it shouldn't slip. should be like an anti-slip type you know thing here there's a light that will come on here and it's green this color here so you know depending on how you as you see here it has a very different design to it um, <clears throat> we have a fan back here here is your two point your um, micro SD card slot this is your micro SD card slot I mean micro SD uh, um, shoot I'm sorry micro USB slot these are your two USB 3.0 slots, your gigabit Ethernet slot here, HDMI slot, regular HDMI, and I'm assuming this is where you plug in the power. Um, so yeah, that's been a look at the device itself. Now let's see what else is in the box. Okay. Alrighty. So we have the shield controller here. Um, it does not have rumble feature in it. I'm assuming that's something that's probably patented. I don't know. But they did not put the rumble feature in this controller. Um, here we have more capacitive touch buttons here. And here's your mic. And um, this right here is like a little trackpad. So you can actually use it as like a little, you know, trackpad, um, mouse type clicky feature or whatnot. And here's your regular, um, you know, A, B, X, Y buttons here. Um, this feels kind of tight. <laughs> um, these feel okay. Um, I don't know how I'm going to like this controller, but we will find out. And this is a controller that you will uh, just charge. I do like the fact that it's rechargeable and you don't have to worry about buying batteries. <clears throat> so many items now, you know, you have to buy batteries. So that rechargeable feature is an automatic plus. So here on the back we have... This is for your ch um, charging, so I guess you would plug your uh, c your charging cable up to the back of the shield and plug the other part here to charge your controller. Here's the 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, and like I said, you can plug your headphones into here when you're watching something through your shield, and that way you can have that privacy and not disturb your partners. So, partner, partners, whatever, hey, you know. And then here we have a quick start guide and then the support guide. And let's check out the quick start guide. This is telling you what should be in the box. This is telling you how to hook it up and turn it on. So yeah, simple. Next we have our cabling. Here is the HDMI cable. 
I'm so glad that more companies are starting to do this. Um, you know, beforehand, I'm assuming they were just too expensive and people weren't including the HDMI cables, but I'm very glad that they're including HDMI cables now. Then we have, um, I'm assuming this is your your charge cable for your, for your uh, controller. So, it has a um, USB. Uh, so, yeah. This is a charge cable for your controller. So, you'll plug this up into one of the three point, um, you know, the USB 3.0 slots in the back. And that's cute that they have these little, uh, <laughs> that way, hey, this is for your controller. <laughs> I like that. That's really cute. Okay, next we have the um, power. And as you see here, you can check out the specs if you want, if it will focus. So yeah, you see it has that really pretty glossy type <laughs> feel to it. Um, it has NVIDIA written on the back. So this is one of those um, power uh, cable adapters or whatever that you can actually change out the power uh, portion here. So, you know, if you need to... Um, if you go if you go somewhere overseas or whatnot, you'll be able to get an a, adapter or whatever for your power cable and use that. So I think that's really cool. Um, yeah, so I, that's basically about it. So I'm going to see if I can connect my. Uh, I'm gonna see if I can connect my Alienware Alpha to this wirelessly and stream. Uh, my video gameplays and things like that. I may do another video once I get this set up um, and show you guys a walk around the NVIDIA software or whatnot. So stay tuned for that. And yeah, if you've hung in this, this far, you guys, as I said, you are awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much. Be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe for more videos coming here in the near future. And yeah, you guys take care and be safe.